Most of us are impatient. I'm impatient. And I have to constantly check myself on where is that coming from? And in times where I'm on one foot and then the other foot, you know what I'm talking about. I have to go to God again for peace and realize that some things are in God's time. Well, your times are in God's hands. God is in charge of the timetable, so wait patiently. It says in Lamentations 3, verse 25 and 26, The Lord is good to those that wait for God, to the soul who seeks God. Well, it's just like I said a minute ago. Yes, when you go to God in times where your impatience is running high, the Lord is good to you. You have a, a peace that comes to you, and you rest in that peace. Now I continue with Lamentations. It is good that one should hope and wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Well, most of us are impatient. If we're honest, we'll say that. And we're impatient even for God to grant us the desires of our heart. Usually, we know what we want. And we know precisely when we want it, right now, if not sooner. But when God's plans differ from our own, we must trust God's infinite wisdom and God's infinite love. Now, as busy women and men living in a very, very fast-paced world, many of us find that quietly waiting for God is very, very difficult. Why? Because we're human beings. We're seeking to live according to our own timetables, not God's. But in our better moments, we realize that patience is not only a virtue, but it is also the essence of wisdom and the foundation of trust. So, the next time that you find yourself impatient for anything, and even God, to reveal God's plans, remember something. God loves you, and that God's timetable is always perfect for you, and have the wisdom in that moment to wait.